Hello, all you fabulous people. Welcome to Spain on Fork today. We have such a great episode. We're making better than fried oven baked crispy french fries, folks. This is what it's all about, grabbing comfort food. And I would say that french fries are possibly the most popular comfort food in the world and transforming them into a healthy dish. Seriously, you can totally eat these french fries guilt-free because they're not loaded with oil or fat, but the flavor of the french fries and that incredible crispy texture is gonna completely blow it away, guys. Easy to make, no special equipment. Let's dive right in. All right, I'm gonna begin by grabbing three medium-sized Yukongo potatoes. Now, to make these french fries, you can use whatever kind of potatoes you want. In my opinion, the Yukongo ones have the best texture and flavor. I'm gonna rinse these under some cold running water, and as you can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potatoes. This gives these homemade french fries that beautiful texture, but you can totally peel them. But if you're gonna leave the skins on there, make sure you scrub the potatoes well. And once you have all your potatoes clean, make sure you pan them completely dry. Now I'm gonna cut the potatoes into the form of french fries. I like to cut off a quarter inch from each end. That way you can easily stand up the potato and cut it into vertical slices that are about a quarter inch thick. And from each piece of potato, cut quarter inch thick pieces to form the french fries. And as you're cutting your french fries, transfer them into a large bowl. Once I have all the french fries cut and into the bowl, I'm gonna fill it up with some cold water to about half an inch above the potatoes and let them sit here for at least 30 minutes. This is such an important step by soaking the raw french fries before you bake them. It's where we move some of that excess starch. That way they have an incredible crispy texture. After leaving our potatoes to sit in that water for at least 30 minutes, I'm gonna drain them into a sieve, rinse them with some cold running water, transfer them to a dishcloth, and pat them completely dry. Again, this is such an important step. You don't want any excess water in these potatoes, otherwise they're not gonna have that incredible crispy texture. Once the potatoes are well dried, I'm gonna transfer them back into the bowl and pour in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now to season your potatoes, you can add whatever seasonings you want in there. I like to add in some sweet smoked Spanish paprika and some garlic powder as it gives these french fries an incredible punch of flavors. I'm gonna add in a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika into the potatoes one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of fine sea salt, and about one eighth of a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna toss this all together until everything's well combined. Once again, this is such an important step. You want that olive oil and all these seasonings to be perfectly divided through each piece of potato. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna transfer the potatoes into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. And make sure they're all in a single layer, that way they all cook evenly. And I'm gonna add our potatoes into a preheated oven. Very important to preheat your oven at least 30 minutes before you add these in there. I have it in the bake and broil option, 250 degrees Celsius, which is 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oven doesn't have the bake and broil option at the same time, no big deal. You just bake them for the exact same amount of time I'm cooking these and then add them to the broiler between two to three minutes. After about 30 minutes, these French fries look like they are perfectly cooked. I'm gonna take them out of the oven and transfer them into a serving dish, guys. Seriously, look how insane these oven-baked crispy french fries turned out. Let's give them a try and see how they taste. I cannot wait to try this, here we go. 
What a beautiful crunch to them, guys. So good, oven baked, wow. I mean, these are just the best part about them is that they're guilt-free, they're not loaded with oil, they're not deep fried, absolutely delicious. You can season them any way you want. I love it with the paprika and the garlic powder, explosion of flavors, the textures of the potatoes are insane. The most important part here, make sure when you cut the potatoes, you soak them in cold water for at least 30 minutes. That's what helps remove some of the starch to give these french fries that incredible crunch. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Jim Owens. Again, Jim, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. It's thanks to people like you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on a Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my patron link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.